Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be about the books that I plan to finish in the month of December. Yes, that's right, the books I plan to finish. Uh, if you saw last year's December TBR video, I attempted to finish all the books that I'd started on that were on my TBR, regardless of when they had been started. This year, I have decided to do that again, but I'm going to restrict myself to just the books that I've started in 2024. We're not quite at the end of November, so I don't have any November books on this list. I only have just any books that have been started since January until the end of October. Um, there may well be November books that end up carrying over to December, but I will let you know about that in my November wrap up if that happens. So let's just talk about the four books that are on the list, plus the book club book read that I've got for the month. Let's start off with a book club pick. We've gone with Romance um, for this month and we've gone for In Holidays by Christina Lauren. This is a festive holiday romance and um, it's about a woman who is spending her final ever holiday, family holiday in a cabin in the woods. This is spent with two other families and it's something that she's done all her life. As she's driving away from the cabin, she asks the universe to show her what would make her happy. And she has a crash and finds herself back on the plane on her way to the holiday. And it's a time loop romance because she goes through various um, scenarios and she always ends up back on the plane. And I'm assuming until she finds her happy ever after. I'm not sure who the male protagonists are going to be in this. Um, I think they might be something to do with the other families that her family stayed with. But I'll find out as I read the book. So I'm looking forward to picking that one up and to our discussion in early January. So to the list of books that I've started and not yet finished. I have these listed in the order that they were started. Uh, it isn't necessarily the order they're going to be read, but um, because one of these is actually really quite chunky. So it might take a bit more than um, just reading them in order to be able to get this one done because it might put me off finishing the rest. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is The Company of Fiends by Catherine Moon. This is the second book in her gothic monster romance, um, erotic romance series. It uh, follows different characters than the first book did. I originally picked this up because I read this, read the first book for um, a book club that was running earlier on in the year. And I, I enjoyed it. I had a fun time. It's not the best written romance in the world. There's a lot of physical love compared to plot. So if this book is any is much the same then I, the, it's probably going to be quite a fast read because I do start to get to the point where I start skimming those parts of the books uh, but I was quite intrigued by the plot uh, even though it's different characters it is going to continue the plot from the first book uh, because there is an evil in this overall world who is trying to um, infiltrate certain elements of society so yeah, looking forward to seeing how that continues to play out. The second book in this list is The Chunker, and um, I got quite a bit to read on this one. And that book is The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons. I have only read about 100 pages of this book. I started reading it over the summer. Um, I was going to take part in a read-along. Um, being hosted by another YouTuber on their Patreon, only I didn't finish the book, um, so I haven't carried on with the read-along. This is a fantasy novel, it's the first in a quintet of fantasy novels, and it's about Bard's apprentice, Kirin, who is also a thief, and he is, um, Marked by a Demon, and it's about what happens after that. I think this is about uh, what happens when the villain is the main person in the story. 
Um, I don't think Kirin is going to be good. And I quite like the idea of that. I quite like the twist on that. Um, and I read, um, you can't quite see them there, but earlier on this year, I listened to uh, the Faithful and the Fallen series by John Gwynn. And I like the fact that all through the books, I was questioning who the good and the bad person was um, and that it could have gone either way. And yeah, so I do want to continue it. I was intrigued. Like I say, I've got a hundred pages in. I mean, I even started tabbing it, which is not something that I do. I don't tend to tab my books. I don't tend to mark pages in books. Um, so yeah, I was enjoying it. And I am kind of, in a way, looking forward to settling down and trying to get this off the TBR before the end of the year. The third book in the series is actually an anthology. It's a romance anthology and they are all um, mafia romance novels. This book is Guns Blazing. I originally picked up this um, back in 2020, 2021. I was signed up to go to a book signing, which unfortunately I never actually went to. And one of the authors that was going to be there, who I'd never read before, has a short story in this anthology. And I thought, what a great way to um, explore her writing is to start with a short novel. Uh, so yeah, I did then pick it up and carry it on earlier on this year. I think I'm about halfway through it. I've read quite a few of the stories. So I don't actually have that much left to do. I'm thinking that this could be a good one to read at weekends. And certainly when I have quite a period of time um, towards the end of the month, I have almost two full weeks of work. And I'm thinking that I could actually uh, maybe read a story a day um, and then move on to other books. So I'm quite looking forward to it. Like I say, they're short. Mafia romance isn't a subgenre that I normally gravitate towards. Um, I'm just, I'm not into the violent side of it. And sometimes the violence is a little bit more prevalent than the romance. So yeah, I'll see how it goes. The, the ones that I've read so far have been okay. Um, I don't really know how to rate anthologies um, because there's always some books that you enjoy and some maybe that you don't. But it is also a good way to explore and discover new authors as well. The fourth and final book on this list is a previous book club pick from this year. Uh, one that I haven't finished um, and that is an actual I want to finish it. I think there may be one or two that I've actually DNF'd. Um, I'm not going to go back to those because those were definite DNFs and I don't want to finish one. But this one I do want to finish and that book was Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. This is about um, two people who met as children in a hospital um, and they became friends over their shared love of video games. As young adults, they meet up again and they form uh, another friendship and relationship and are creating video games together. I did start it, I just didn't finish it in time. That is as far as I am through it, which is, again, almost 100 pages. I was enjoying what I'd read up to that point. Um, I can't remember why I put it down and why I never got around to finishing it. But I think, again, it's going to be another one that will be a good one to get off of the list. Um, and I'm looking forward to carrying on and picking up where I left off. So, yeah, so that's book number four on the list. At the point that I'm filming this, we are at the last weekend in November. So I do have a couple of books on the go. Um, one of those is the November Book Club pick uh, for Cozy Book Club, and that is I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith. But I am working my way through that one. I will have that one finished um, by the end of the month. Uh, I've also picked up a crime novel, which again, I'm intending to have finished by the end of the month. But one book that I'm fairly certain is going to end up on this TBR is Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor. This is the third and final book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. Again, I am just over 100 pages through. There's a theme here. Um, so, and again, it's quite a chunky book, but again, it's another one that is good to settle down with at weekends and when I've got long sessions when I can read. Um, 
I don't I do have some activities planned in December which means that a couple of Saturdays I'm not available and then obviously we've got Christmas over the weekend um but yeah I'm looking forward I I was really enjoying this one I put this one down because I wasn't um I was struggling to settle to read at the, the when I was when I picked this up so I went on and read other books instead so that I could have some littler wins to help me feel more positive about my reading in November um so yeah um I don't think I'm gonna get this get to this again before the end of the month it is the 25th of November today uh you know I've only got five days left of the month I've got a couple of other books that I'm trying to read so this very unlikely it's going to be finished so this one is probably going to end up on the list as well um but I will confirm when I finish finish my November wrap up which I'll be filming in a few days time so that's my plan for December not quite as ambitious as last year's list was thankfully uh but um with dreams of gods and monsters and the ruin of kings on there still a little bit ambitious um between the two of them i think there is a good almost a thousand pages between the two of them in fact i think there might be more than a thousand pages between the two of them so i think i'm looking at a good 1500 pages worth of book um if not more to read during the month of December and um, with everything going on you know with it being Christmas um, obviously that takes away some of the reading time but like I said I've got almost two full weeks off work um, which includes Christmas and New Year so who knows watch this space obviously you'll get an update on this in the new year what are you planning on reading in December? Do you have any December reading plans or are you just going to go with the mood and see how you feel? Do you um, only pick up festive books at this time of the year? Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you all there. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you all in my next one. Bye!